Okay, so now my page has dried. It's still like lumpy and bumpy. But that's okay because I'm gonna, oh, there's still a wet spot, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna press it under books anyway. It's gonna be nice and flat like these. See, these are perfectly flat and lovely. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little color because I didn't really use all my favorite um, colors in my collage paper. And I am just using, using my Karen Dash or Dash, I don't know how to say that, um, Neo Color 2 that you can color on and then add a little water and blend. So it's like a watercolor. So it's just a nice little effect to add some extra color. I just do it in a very messy style. And I'll just add different colors wherever I want. Give a little spritz of water. I don't even clean my brush in between. You could use paint too, you could use craft paint, you could put watercolor on. Um, anything you like. I could add some ink if I want, or a little bit of my golden favorite pink. I feel like my pieces are not complete unless I have some of this somewhere. I just love it. This and the neon orange is, is my new favorite. Oh, where is my orange? Oh, I don't have it here right now. Anyway, a little dot of this goes a long way. This is golden um, high flow, not fluid. The fluid comes in the other small bottle without this squeeze top. This is the high flow. This is amazing stuff. It's kind of expensive. I think this little tiny bottle is $10, if I'm not mistaken. I bought a bunch at one time, so I haven't bought them in a long time because I have a lot. But I think they're $10 a bottle for this little one ounce. Anyway, and you can do the back too. Um, I'm not going to do the back because I like to leave on some of these, I like to leave it blank on the back so people can add their own stuff, especially for journals if I'm selling them. So um, I'm gonna leave the back blank after I stitch it, the stitching will be on there. Okay, now I have to let this dry and I love my colors. This has to be blended a little bit more. And now I'm gonna let this dry again, and then I'm gonna stitch it and I'll come back and show you. Okay? Okay, so now it's all dry. It's very thick and crunchy. You can even crunch it up a little more before you flatten it. It just makes it kind of cool. And I stitched it. I just do an all over stitch. Oh, I should have went over the edge here more. But anyway, I like to go around the edges just to make sure it stays um, down at the edges. And then I am going to fold this.
I leave most of the threads on. And now I'm going to cut it because I'm going to make it into two signatures. And on one of them, I'm going to leave it like this. So this is going to be a signature for a 9 by 6 journal. You see the size of these are for the traveling style. So they're thinner and a little bit longer. Actually, these are too long. I have to make them shorter. I have to cut, out, cut off about a quarter inch. So I just make my fold. So this one I'm going to leave like this. And this one, I am going to just dull it up a bit. Actually, no, I like this one a little better. This one, I'm going to dull it up a little bit just by adding a little bit of white paint, rubbing it in. Just to give it a nice um, a little bit of a just to dim it down dim it down a bit so it's not so bright and it makes a nice um, surface to create on as an alternative to the colored surface. And you don't have to do this. This is just something I like to do on some of them so they're not as bright. But you can still see a hint of it underneath and then with the stitching it makes a very nice page to work on. I might not do as much on the back. Just like an alternative to do. Okay, now I'm going to let these dry, and basically this is it. They're going, to, they're going to dry, and then I'm going to put them under books so they're nice and flat like these. Yet these still have a crinkly effect, but they're flat to go into a journal nice. And that's it. I have two very cool pages to add to a journal along with all the other papers I put in. I do cut off some of the edges if they're too long. You could also paint on the inside if you want to paint a color. Um, you know, I might do pink or just white in the inside here, or gesso or something. You could leave it, you know, either way. Or you could do a mix of all of them. You know, have some blank in the middle, have some painted different colors. You could collage on both sides. So, any way you like. But now these are going to dry and get flattened in a book, and they will be ready for when I put them in a journal. So, I hope you like that technique. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do when I don't really feel like doing, um, you know, like a specific piece of art, but I just feel like doing something creative. So, and the options are endless, what you can do and how you can, you know, use different uh, papers to get different looks. I've, I've also used fabric on here, so. Anyway, thanks. Have a great day, everybody.